Hello guys, welcome back to the channel today. We're back with episode 35 here on this Friday afternoon and we're going to be back in the Midland Shield playing for Solly all today. We've got a little bit of a gap in between our games for Warwickshire. So we're going to be playing this Club T20 game today against Hereford in the uh, Midland Shield Club T20. I've picked the side for today's game. We're going to be batting, uh, I think, at number two or number three. I've simulated a game as well uh, already, which... Uh, We've got 27 runs off 21, so hopefully um, we can do better today. 2020 has been our toughest uh, event so far, so let's hopefully get some runs. Okay, then, so here we are then at the Hereford Sports Club Good for today's T20 welcome. game. Slater, and with me for this we are batting contest. second with the captain, obviously. And we've moved the team around a little bit, but to this one. It's hopefully today hopefully we can get, can get a result against away. Hereford, which are uh, decent size. We've got a grassy, we'll soft pitch, uh, reasonable temperature, mid range kind of temperature, overcast. It's a South easterly wind, 32% humidity. And, and we're going to go the with a heads call. So it's going to be Hereford that throw the coin up in the air, comes down, hits the grass, we have called heads. And Hereford have won the toss and have, decided and have to chosen to bat first. first. Interesting decision that I probably would have gone with bowling first in these overcast conditions. Hopefully that backfires on them and they get a relatively low score that we can chase down. I think somewhere around a couple hundred would be quite nice. Um, oh, even less than that. That's wonderful. So I think they've got 130 something, 137 needed. So we've started fantastically well. So we've got Melbourne Wilkinson facing the first, uh, and he's gone massive off the first over. 16 off the first over for Melbourne Wilkinson. An excellent way to start things off. And we've, uh, we've uh, played it into the hands of the fielder. Yeah, it feels good being back in this orange kit. Less pressure. And we've got another delivery then coming in. That's played nicely. We're going to take a quick single here. Get the bat down in good order. Taylor is off the mark. And we're off the mark, which is... Uh, at least we're not going to get a duck, which is good. So we've got Wilkinson then. And Taylor at the crease. And that's a good shot. Excellent fielding. Fantastic fielding there. What a stop that was. That was going at a real pace as well. So Warren with another delivery in towards Taylor. Yes. And that's creamed into the gap nicely. And we're just no going to take a single there. Keep the runs ticking over. They'll ticking over nicely. More. So we move on it's to 20 well then. Operating at 10 and over, which Henry. is going to be plenty. And we've got Abdallah Hendricks in there. So we could get some big end. runs here. We could get some big runs to... Ooh, and we've played all around that one. Need to get our head in the game today. We've started very slowly here. Two off six. What a really poor start this. Doesn't uh, play that another one good well. delivery. Hendrix is some good bowling here. A combination of that and poor batting, I suppose. But yes. And that's gone nicely through the gap there. That should be going all the way for four. And it makes that's it all the way to drive. the boundary. And that is four runs. And our first boundary of the match. So 113 now required off 105. Hendricks into Taylor again. Wait on. That's yes, played no. nicely. But we're not going to run that one. Just uh, really happened to, to fall at the feet of the fielder. Milo Warren then with another pace attack delivery. And that's yep. clipped away lovely, and that's going to race all the way for four and almost faster than the pitchers the could uh, cope with, actually. That was a lovely shot, clipped away. And uh, we move into double figures, so we're now on to 12 off 12. This is more like it. A few more shots like that would certainly ease the tensions. Yes. And uh, we're going to take a single there. We hit the slumps at the opposite end. Wilkinson racing away onto 41 here. He's really... Really meaning business today, Melbourne Wilkinson. It's Ramesh Camblay with some spin. And that's gone big, and that's a big six. Taylor there connects beautifully that with that. 106 huge. metres, a wonderful shot. shot. Wonderful shot, that. Camblay sent into the stands. Don't want to bowl that line to Taylor because he will punish you and punish you. And, and he's gone again there. It's just going to be four this time, but Camblay being punished here. Pitching it in the wrong right sort of areas. Eight. And he's getting his just desserts. Another wonderful shot. 70 needed then off uh, 45 deliveries. Or 85. 
And that's a nice shot. And I think that's going to go for four as well. It's racing away to the boundary. Nice shot. Four 70 off uh, 85, rather, not 45. That's a lovely shot, isn't it? Umpire signals that four. For that was a good over for us, that. 15 off the over. 66 needed off 84. Wilkinson still on 41. And we've got Taylor now moving up on to 27. We've got Camblay again here with some more spin deliveries. And uh, that's played nicely into the gap. That's going to be another couple of runs to add to our total. Bowler. Ball comes into the bowler's end, and we're back in good time. They get back without two. a care in the world. So it's going to be Wilkinson and Taylor still there. 73 without loss. Camblay into Taylor again. And that's played lovely into the gap, that. We're going to make two Great here. That's a Ball comes into stage. the bowler's end, and we get there in good time. Good two running there from the pair. And that pushes us up onto 75. 62 needed then. And play into Taylor again. Yes. That's a lovely shot. Through the legs of the fielder. And it's going to possibly make it all the way that. Oh, retrieved on the boundary. We're going to go for three. And we managed to get a good three there. Which uh, is handy. Three more and that the pushes score. us up into the 30s now. 34. He's now our score. 43 Wilkinson is slowed down quite considerably here. We've got uh, Milo Warren then, back in towards Taylor. And that's a nice shot, but excellent fielding again there from the uh, the Hereford man, getting down low to his left, stopping the run. And uh, we've got another delivery from Milo Warren. Oh, and that's a good good bit of uh, in-swing there. Well, what a delivery. Got to be careful for that. We don't want to be caught out by that again. Taylor then on 34, not out. Aiming for another 50 if possible. Wait, That's a nice shot. Probably foot. could have sneaked a single if we wanted, but we opted not to. We've got plenty of time though. 57 off 67. We should really, really wrap these off quite easily. And it's going to be Warren into Taylor again. That's yep. clips. No! Great fielding again. Marvellous fielding. He's had an absolute screamer today, the man in that. Camblay into Taylor then. And that's gone high, and that's gone big, and that's gone all the Just way to the fence for six. The for six. And that was wonderful. Rathia Ball then comes in in number three for the wicket loss of Melvin Wilkinson. You can see here from Taylor there, really gets underneath it, lofts it over the head of the fielder. There's a man on the boundary, but he's too far away, and the ball just goes all the way, creeps over the rope for a good six, and that pushes us up onto 40. 39 is the requirement then. Waiting. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll just hold fire on that for now. Can play again then. And that's gone high in the air. And I think that's going to go all the way that's again. Right, that's another six. six Thought the uh, fielder might ex get round to it and put his hands underneath it, but managed to get it to go all the way. And that pushed us up onto 46. Some good attacking, aggressive cricket here from Taylor. Another one of those would be quite lovely to bring up the 50. And um, yes. we've got lucky there. Got lucky there, but we'll take that, and that's gone all the way for four, and that in turn brings up 50 not out for uh, for our man, Tubby Taylor. 59 out of 28 balls. Reasonable enough. I mean, I'd, I'd expect to be scoring a little bit more freer down at this level, but we get the bat to it, and the ball goes high in the air, and races away for four. And uh, 29 required off 56 then. Camblay back in towards Taylor again. That's played into the gap nicely. We're going to come back for two. I'm going to push this all the way. Ah, oh, we messed up there. But we'll get there in time anyway. Got to, got to work out timing that button there because it happens quite a bit. So we've got Camblay again then. For the last ball of this over, in towards Taylor. And that's played lovely and an excellent bit of fielding once well, more. He was smashed all over the park. We see here for that 50, we've got three sixes. Some nice fours in there as well, particularly on that leg side. A couple of twos on the off side. On the whole, very, very pleasing innings. 26 is the requirement. We've got a, a few deliveries of Misha Wade to face then. Charges in towards Taylor. And uh, we'll just play that on down there on the off side. In the crease at the right time. 
24 needed then off 42. Almost a run every two balls is the requirement. And that is another dot ball. Wade has done well in that over. Good delivery that from Wade. A good over on the hole. Abdallah Hendricks is in then. 17 required. Ah, we've got under it and we've buggered it up. Ah, that is annoying. This match could be decided that on is annoying and we've given our wicket away try to get it over that fielder and over down towards the rope we just timed it incorrectly it's a reasonably good shot looking at the replay but it's gone into the hands of the fielder anyway and we've gone for 50 I think it was Byron Giles is in there and that was quite an easy victory on the whole though 8 wicket win we've gone for 54 Melbourne Wilkes with a good 43 not one of our better innings today However, we have picked up three points. We have got another 50 to add to our career. Let's have a quick look at our statistics. 8,000 or so to add to this. So we're going to add a bit more onto the hook and pull, a bit more onto the glance, a little bit onto the sweep, and we'll leave it there for now. Let's have a look at the My Player then. So we're going to go into career statistics, and we can see here that we are averaging 84.63 first class, which is excellent stuff off the back of eight innings. We are averaging 53.63 overall, basically via our solid career, which is really good. And I'm really pleased with how things are going at the minute. We're going to be back on Monday with our next episode. I think we're going to have to have a few more. Are we going to have to have a few more? I think we're going to have to have a few more. We've got a knockout game coming up in the Midlands Shield on Monday. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about us playing these games. Do you think we should just stick to the first class stuff now of Warwickshire? Hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. Remember, leave a big fat thumbs up on the video down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more Ashes Cricket content on the channel. But for today, guys, I hope you have a really good weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. If you enjoyed today's episode of Ashes Cricket and you want to see more cricket content on the channel, head across to my Cricket Captain 2017 series, which you'll see on the screen now. Thank you ever so much for watching today's video guys and I'll catch you again in the next episode.